35 chinna katha kaat the story about a little boy arun for his journey from 0 until the pass mark 35 makes its mark from up to 75 to 80% this is a story that definitely needs to grab a lot of attention though the approach is a little too commercial in terms of writing that could have been a little more raw and realistic so questioning the education system but for whatever is written executed and especially performed the makers do have their heart in the right place this is in viveka thomas show from first to last including the little boy who played aru though priyadarshi's character feels a little too dramatized in my opinion but the portrayal especially of all the child artists was done really well and also mainly how the story unfolds though like i said it feels a little too commercial and also a little too much of running minutes and prolonged screenplay it does manage to make its mark the camera angles and the camera work is one of a special mention it is done too good the music by vivek sagar is done very well the art department and the costumes deserve a special mention as well they make the entire household and the school setup feel very organic and believable nivedha thomas puts her heart and soul into the performance she just knocks it out of the park and so does the little boy arun he also does a really fab job priyadarshi actor bhagyaraj the little girl who played kiran mai the boy who played varun the comedian who played the pune character actress gautami actor krishna teja I wish his character was a little more in length, and also, last but not least, Vishwadev. The casting of this movie is done to perfection. I wish the writing was only done a little more better. This movie had all the elements going, especially the way it questions the education system in India. The institutions like Sri Chaitanya or Narayana, etc., who focus only on the marks and only on the grading system, more than making the lessons understandable and comprehensible to children. which is one point that is explained quite well in this movie but instead of concentrating on that point in the second half it becomes more of a mother's journey towards redemption from being called a 10th fail or a little boy's redemption from being called zero which is equivalent to the marks he scores in math though this story is also good and this is also a story that needs a lot of attention it also throws a very important question the ranking and the grading system of how the education process is designed in india this is a very important point and i hope it was emphasized a little more because towards the end the children the parents the principal everyone again fall behind marks and trying to make the kid pass after all which isn't so bad just like the kids journey in tari zameen par but it is also something where we are only tuning our kids to fit into the system rather than define their own way of learning that was something that i felt could have been written and could have been explained more loud and clearly because like i said towards the end the kid again falls into the rat race and is again running behind marks and proving his worth through the grading system and fit into the 9 to 5 job if he has to make it in this world that i felt was a little bit of a disappointment in terms of writing but if that wasn't even the intent of the filmmaker then maybe it's okay to think in those directions too and take that risk I wish this movie took that risk. Hmm. It would have been a different discussion altogether. But for whatever, like I said, is written, executed, and mainly performed, is done very well. I will rate this a three point seven five stars out of five. Thirty five Chinna Katha Kadu has emotions. The toxic way in which middle class families showcase their love, like resorting to hitting their children after a lot of restraining themselves, or succumbing to the grading system, which feels unfortunate a little bit. but also presents the harsh reality in a very different light a lot of discussions can be raised from this movie and i wish they do but this deserves a good one time watch for a lot of viewers especially parents but i would commend nivedha thomas whether it is putting on weight whether it is learning and perfecting her dialect for the chitur or tirupati side of andhra and also adapting her body language to fit a middle class wife like i said she just knocks it out of the park some technical issues that i found There were also some continuity issues that I saw, like in the same scene, Priyada she has glasses on, and in a different frame he doesn't have glasses. So some like that, and also the introduction scene of the kid Arun, like he showcases like he's the younger kid, and in a different scene when he's joining school, he showcases like he's the elder kid. That doesn't make sense to me. Maybe the way I registered it was incorrect, but that was also something that was not done in the most clear way possible. There are some parts which are over dramatized, like the pre-climax sequence, the way Arun has to go and give the exam. Feels like a Telugu cinema moment where there are so many obstacles. So that part felt a little dramatized, and also the face-off between Nivedha Thomas and Priya Darshi, where he comes to their house. I mean that part is good, but there is too much dialogue. I, I do understand where the makers are coming from. Don't get me wrong, 
but the way it's presented yeah the drama is a little too much there those were the parts i was wishing could have been done more naturally and organically but this movie also has a lot of scenes and a lot of parts which are written and done right especially the mother's explanation of math and how she makes it more comprehensible and understandable to the kid is my best takeaway from this and also the relationship between the husband and the wife and through the part where they decide to get married was okay for me the rest of the movie i love the chemistry between them and mainly the rapport and the friendship that develops though there are parts which feel a little too toxic for a relationship to be in especially how the husband keeps referring to her as 10th fate i wish the makers thought through about the logic and sequences like that this is me the honest man and this is my short review follow me for more